Good morning everybody. I am Dr. Kannu Charna Patro, Neuro Radiation Oncologist. Today I am going to tell about radiology of brain stem and cerebellum. So brain stem comprises of midbrain, pons, medulla. These three structures today combined together it is called uh, brain stem. And brain stem mostly the midbrain is the superior, pons is the middle and medulla is the lower part and it will continue with the spinal cord. Let's see, this is the uh, non-colored picture, this is the upper part is the midbrain, this is the pons, this is the medulla and this is the cerebellum uh, hooded by the tentorium. Uh, we can see here midbrain, pons and medulla, this is the cerebellum and this is hooded by the tentorium. So if you see in the MRI picture, it should look like a snake hood, hood of a snake. So this is the uh, tegmentum part and tectum part of the midbrain. This is the uh, 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 pons, the hooding, hood is the midbrain and the glandular look like structure is the uh, pons and this is the medulla. You can see the cerebellum here. You can see the cerebellum here. Like that, this is the midbrain, this is the pons and this is the medulla. So in axial picture, you can see the this is the midbrain this is the acute rate of salvios that communicating with the third to fourth ventricle and this uh, this uh, this continues as a fourth ventricle behind the pons you can see the tegmentum part anteriorly tectum part posteriorly and here this is the pons and this is the super middle cerebellar peduncle that communicating with the pons and the cerebellum this is the cranial nerves you can remember here third and fourth from the midbrain fifth to eighth is from the uh, pons and uh, ninth to twelfth is from the uh, medulla. So, three to four is from the uh, um, uh, midbrain, fifth to eighth from the pons and all others from the, uh, all others not, not all others, that is from the ninth to twelfth is from the medulla. So, you can see the fourth ventricle here, this is the tectum part here. This is the tegmentum part, this is acute of salvias that continue as the fourth ventricle and this is the cerebellar hemisphere. Let's see the cerebellum, this is the medulla, you can go from the down to upwards, this is the cerebellar tonsils, it is called cerebellar tonsils and this is the cerebellar hemisphere, tonsil, eh, so this is the medulla, cerebellar tonsil 2 in number, eh, one, 2 cerebellar hemispheres and this is the cerebellar hemispheres, this is the tonsil this is the cerebellar hemisphere so if you see this again this is cerebellar uh, then the tonsil both side cerebellar vermis cere cerebellar hemisphere and this is the superior middle cerebellar pedunc pedunc peduncle communicating with between pons and the cerebellum this is the fourth ventricle anterior to the fourth ventricle the pons and this is the vermis so vermis is a two part superior cerebellar vermis middle um, lower cerebellar vermis and this is the cerebellum so this is the medial cerebellar peduncle communicating between the pons and the cerebellum and this is the fourth ventricle. So superior cerebellar peduncle communicating the midbrain with the cerebellum and this is the horizontal fissure of the cerebellum. So we can see superior cerebellar peduncle continuing the midbrain to um, cerebellum like that. Again superior cerebellar peduncle communicating with the midbrain and um, cerebellum. Middle cerebellar peduncle communicating the pons and the cerebellum. You can see here, appreciate here. There is a middle cerebellar peduncle, and uh, this is all about the brain stem and cerebellum, um, mostly posterior fossa. And uh, thanks for watching. You can like and comment, share and subscribe my channel. And uh, when I upload a video, you can uh, get an alert. Thank you very much.